You're listening to New Talk on WNSR New School Radio. Yvonne and Yvette Durant, sisters, are etiquette experts. And today they're going to talk to me about proper etiquette for the 21st century. From the traditional please and thank you to online dating, is it weird or safe? If there's anyone who can talk about this issue, it's these two ladies. They have an entire website dedicated to etiquette called YvonneandYvetiquette.com. Yvonne is also a writer and has written pieces for Oprah.com, The Huffington Post, and other publications. I am pleased to welcome Yvonne and Yvette Durant to WNSR New School Radio. All right, so I'm joined in the studio with Yvonne and Yvette Durant, two etiquette experts. I want to thank them for coming into the studio. It's not uh, very often that I get to have people in the studio, so I really don't know how to act. Um, <laughs> And so I want to start off by talking about your backgrounds and, and how you got into discussing etiquette and, of course, blogging about it. Uh, we were born and raised in Brooklyn, and um, we were just taught to have good manners. That was taught at home and respecting elders and saying thank you. Um, we were probably the girls that people would say, oh, they're just so proper, those those twins, you know, so proper. and. So, well, also, we, we went to dance school. Every Saturday we had dance lessons, and part of dance school was ballet, modern, and also it was a little bit of charm school. And also, our parents always said, you are a reflection of us. Mm. And back in the day, there were boundaries, there were just certain things you couldn't say to an adult. To this day, I never say or answer anything to my parents. I never say what. It says, yeah. excuse me? Yes, but now I, I cringe when someone said, what? <laughs> now, what has changed generationally, or is it a generational thing? Because, I mean, I, I can't even... Absolutely it is. Yeah. I, I, I don't know where this started with this, this calling people by their first names and uh, referring to elder, older people as honey or sweetie. I think it started maybe in schools, in public schools now. Maybe you're allowed to call your teachers by their first name. I don't know what happened. Or, you know, now that parents want to be their child's friend instead of their parent, you know, maybe there's a breakdown there. Um, I... I you know, and that people are okay with it. I mean, I have friends around my age, and they don't have a problem with a, a younger person um, calling them by their first name. I have a problem with it. Well, when someone, go ahead. I'm sorry. In fact, uh, several years ago, we met children of uh, this good couple friends of ours, and they asked, "How would you like the children to refer to you?" And you know, I think that's spot on. Mm. And I don't mind being called Yvonne. I would never say call me Miss Yvonne. I would say Miss Durant. I introduce myself with my full name, Yvonne Durant. I'll let you know if you shouldn't be calling me Yvonne. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, I blame the phone company for single-handedly changing <laughs> etiquette. How so? Uh, I've had people come to my dinner table with their cell phones on a table. I oh. mean, you're at my house for dinner, eat my good food, mm -hmm. and you're going to answer your phone during a meal? If it's very important, then you have to remove yourself from the table, go into the bathroom, but the ringer, something has to go. Well, that, that's another breakdown of a boundary. I mean, there was a time you had a landline, and, and now then you got you had your cell. I prefer mobile. And, um, you know, you, you didn't call people all hours of the night. You didn't receive calls. You, you turn it off at some point. And now, since everybody has their mobile, it's just 24-7, 24-7, and anywhere. You can barely walk down the street without bumping into someone. Yeah, and I also think that it's been so common, especially with your cell phones. You don't know where the boundaries are because many people oh. you meet, they say, it's a fine answer your phone. It's okay. And so I guess people have gotten accustomed to doing it and then apologizing if they're wrong. Well, we're also yeah. terribly busy, and I do always a, a appreciate an apology. Please excuse me. I have to get this because we're living in a new world where a lot of people like myself were freelancers, and that may be the call. And sometimes you just have to take it. I, I like to remove myself from a populated area and go to a corner and answer or whatever. Uh, people are surprised. Uh, I sent you a text. I called you. Well, I'm not always holding my phone. I have a purse <laughs> I hold. I don't hold my phone all the time. So there's this assumption that we are available 24-7, and personally, I find that very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Now, moving on to young people and dating, you have some tips for that, right? Yes. 
This is the hot topic of being something like Well, you know what I, I see on the subways? You see people, you know, you see couples, and, you know, you're with a, a guy, and there's a pregnant lady or an elderly lady, and he doesn't stand up. Now, I just have to say, ladies, that's a clear indication of the person you are about to have a date with. I think. I mean, it doesn't mean they're a bad person, but it would certainly say a lot if they got up and gave up the seat. And, you know, certainly no no handheld devices at the table at all. And don't go for the most expensive thing because somebody's going to buy you dinner. You know, be be nice. Be aware. And um, and I think after a few times if you've gone out with someone, it's okay to reach an offer. You know, can I help you with that? Mm-hmm. You know, people like that. Well, I, I agree with that. Also, I think if you invite someone out, you should be prepared. But I think each person should be able to, you know, pay for that steak smothered with lobster if that's what you want. You know. <laughs> uh, I think it's important to engage in conversation. I think questions are good. I don't think they should be personal because one thing I've learned, I think you've had too, people will tell you what they want you to know. Mm. Just listen. And we don't have that art anymore of listening. We don't build on conversations. We don't pick off with someone left up. We just, it's all about us me 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 and you know so tell me you know so what is it that you liked about that you mentioned such and such tell me more about that Mm, that's a good point now uh, I have two questions on this topic and this will help me engage better when we have um, some dialogue with my friends 50 50 when it comes to paying for for dates is that okay yeah absolutely Uh, I have no problem so it should be settled though before the date Mm -hmm. And and if you can sense that someone is having maybe financial problems, you don't have to suggest Le Chat Noir, one of our famous uh, favorite places. You can say, what do you feel like eating? I find I'm hypersensitive. Uh, let's just go for something light. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just don't want, I wouldn't want a man to think that um, I need him to feed me well. Mm. Uh, another question, when it comes to the the art of dating. Is it okay for young people in particular, I don't know if it works for all ages, uh, to date endlessly as many people as you want without ever wanting to settle? I don't see anything wrong with that, meeting people if you're not committed in a committed relationship. I think it's fine. I mean, just as long as you don't start playing the games, you know, and, and, and just, yeah, playing the games, whatever that is. We know what it is when we start doing it. But, oh, I, I don't think there's any problem with that at all. I mean, I think if there's going to be intimacy, you certainly need to be very careful. I mean, I think it's okay to date, 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 but, you know, when you'd like, you know, being intimate with, each and every person mm-hmm. that could be problematic i also <laughs> think men i think men young men older men could be more sensitive to women's feelings we invest more quickly in relationships maybe too quickly so we're we hurt easily mm. and i think it's important not to mislead i think these things should be clarified up front if you listen you will know what this person wants from you but I, I'm with Yvette. The, the game playing now, as we get older, it's true. Life is too short. Mm. And what are some of the top etiquette tips that everyone should know and, and follow? Thank you. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Women with their backpacks and men behind them on a train as if no one exists, behind, you know, to their comfort, or women with their bags. Why you'd want your bag behind you, I don't know. I like my stuff. I so. can't take the feet on everything. Feet, feet on, on furniture. We feet on can't furniture. Stand. Feet on the subways. I, I mean, what are you thinking? The streets are filthy. Who wants to sit after you've had your foot on the chair? Eating on public transportation. Although sometimes I've seen us, well, maybe that person has diabetes and they need Mm. a snack, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't, don't, it's just such a disregard for space these days. It's astounding. And time, people's time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's another big one that we've been talking about. Yeah, be on time. (laughs) You brought this up, online dating. Is that, you think this okay? I've tried it, and then someone told me, oh, there's one, here's a new one you should try. I'll tell you, people lie. Oh, my gosh, they lie. <laughs> but I know people who have done very well, but mm-hmm. I, I just... It's I, a question I of style. I, mm-hmm. So it's not taboo, it's not something you should No, no definitely do it. I, I say, you know, try it, and, um, you know, just be careful. Mm-hmm. Well, I wish we had two hours and a half to talk. 
but we don't. And um, thank you so that much. Being said, thank I want to thank you guys for coming in and sharing you some insight. You are welcome. Okay. All right. Bye. Thank you for listening. This is Roy Paul for WNSR New School Radio.